father. We must get away. Not without the key. At last, my mission will soon be accomplished. Now's our chance. Not so fast. Give me that paper and the key. Stop where you are! Pick up their guns. Professor Strang, I want to apologize for suspecting you of being the Whispering Shadow. Look here, boss. I thought you said you had the shadow. He got away. Which way did he go? Oh, don't worry about that. He'll be back. He won't leave without making another attempt to get this. What is that? Key to the safe deposit box containing the jewels. Mr. Foster, you hold in your hand the fate of my country. You may not be the Whispering Shadow Strang, but you've a lot to explain. That is just what I intend to do, Mr. Raymond. I'm the foreign minister of the Federated Baltic States, the crown jewels which the Whispering Shadow Strang to get were entrusted to me to bring to America as security for a loan. The escaped convict Slade stole them from me and hid them here in this warehouse. I suppose you can prove your identity? Why, Your Excellency, why didn't you tell us all this before, instead of allowing us to believe that you were the Whispering Shadow? Because the resulting publicity might have bankrupted my country. I heard shooting, Chief, and grabbed this man trying to make his getaway. Now maybe you'll believe that Steinbeck is the Whispering Shadow. I found these things in the receiving room just after he ran out. What about this, Steinbeck? I told you I was a special agent sent here by my country to stop the loan Strang was trying to make. I'm not the Shadow. I never saw that cape before. How do we know these things don't belong to you, Mr. Gerald? You attacked me right here and tried to get the order for the jewels. Is that right, Jerome? Yes, I did. I feel that I have a right to those jewels. You have a right to the imperial jewels? What right? By right of inheritance. I'll tell you who I really am, even though it puts my life in danger. I am the only survivor of the House of Boltinoff. The jewels were confiscated from us by the New Republic. You mean you are the exiled Prince Alexander? Yes. I was in this country when the revolution occurred. Fearful for my life, I took an assumed name. I bought an interest in the storage company to help me locate the jewels which I knew were hidden in the warehouse. Has anybody seen my parcel? Oh, there it is. I've never known you to lose your puzzle before, Sparks. No, and it won't happen again. Mr. Jerome, both you and Steinbeck have explained your motive. But there's nothing to prove that one of you isn't the Whispering Shadow. Hey, hey, what's the idea? Don't do that, Mr. Foster. Say, Foster, what's come over you? You hold him and I'll show you. I just found this in my pocket. The Shadow's... Death this. How did it get there? Never mind that now. 
Watch. Watch that disc. So that's where the death ray came from. Foster, how did you figure it was this machine? This strang really put me on the right trail. I? Yes. Although you didn't suspect the right man at the time, remember you told me you and your father? There's nobody here. Wait. Can I turn on the translucent ray? Company. I'll put an end to his spying. Well, Father, wait! You were right. It is best not to let him know we suspect him. Follow him quickly. At that time, Miss Strang and I thought that Mr. Jerome was the whispering shadow. interfered with me for the last time. What's going on here? Well, what's happened to you, Foster? Why, the Whispering Shadow just tried to kill me. What? How? With this electric disc. I've seen one of these things before. When? The night the Shadow killed one of his own men at police headquarters. How did this get here, Foster? I found it at Mr. Jerome's office. What? Jerome's office? Yes, that's why I'm here. I tried to prevent Mr. Jerome from giving the jewels to the Whispering Shadow. Foster is lying, the covering shadow. I would have caught the Shadow if he and the girl hadn't interfered. Well, what girl? Strang's daughter. Strang is the Whispering Shadow, and Foster is working for him. Is this true, Foster? Has Miss Strang been here with you? Well, uh, I can answer that. Foster and Miss Strang were both snooping around Mr. Jerome's office, and I just saw her running away with a package under her arm. So you're in on this too, oh, eh? Oh, just a minute, Foster. What else did you see, Jarvis? I saw Foster attack Mr. Jerome. If you were close enough to see that, how do we know you didn't take the jewels? And 
just before the explosion, I saw him throw that death disc at Mr. Jerome. Get the light. That's right. enough, Foster. I arrest you as an agent of the Whispering Shadows. I'll make you pay for this, Jarvis. Come on, come on. You're only making things worse for yourself. Well, where are the jewels? I didn't get them. Don't try any tricks on me. I know you've got them. I tell you I didn't. The girl, she was... What makes you think? You can double-cross me. Don't shoot, Steinbeck. I tell you. Mr. Steinbeck. Mr. Steinbeck. You are wanted on the phone. All right. I'll be there. You heard me. Yes, sir. Say, Mr. Jarvis. Maybe you can help me solve this puzzle. Why, sure, Sparks. I'm a wizard at that. Here, let me show you. This is the ship when they want to check. I'll see you later, Jarvis. You see, Mr. Jarvis, the idea is to get that first ring over that wire there. See that? Say, I thought... Oh, gee. When Miss Strang told me that, I felt sure it was Sparks that had planted the death disc in Mr. Jerome's office. How could you kill at a distance with a broadcasting current? It's impossible. It wasn't a broadcasting current. That's what did it. Sparks puzzle. Yes, a harmless looking toy. But you just saw it transform a broadcast wave into a death ray. Then Sparks is the whispering shadow. You see, Sparks, we have you dead to rights. But how did you happen to conceive such a crazy scheme? Crazy? I'm a great radio genius. I invented the most deadly machine ever known. The death ray. All I needed was wealth to make me the most powerful man in the world. That's why I wanted the jewels that were hidden in this warehouse. But how were you able to project the shadow and the whispering voice? Well, I suppose I might as well show you. Give me that cape and hat. Jerome. Mm -hmm. Of you. Jack, what are you going to do? We can't let the shadow get away. Would you have cared very much 